Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Garage with IMS. So today we're gonna to talk about balancing your motorcycle tires and why it's an important aspect in maintaining your motorcycle and how it's also something that can be easily overlooked by new and even experienced riders. Unbalanced tires can cause uneven tread wear and instability, which can lead to unsafe riding conditions, especially at higher speeds. A properly balanced motorcycle tire ensures a better ride, smoother ride, better handling, and longer tread life for those badass tires you put on the bike of your dreams. Kind of like my gaudy looking Triumph Street Triple R. On this episode, we're gonna head over to Jeff at Moto Republic over in Eagle Rock, California, and he's gonna take you through Wheel Balancing 101. Take it away, Jeff. Thanks, Sam. Today I'm gonna run you through how to properly balance a motorcycle tire. So let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is get the rim mounted up on the balancer. You can pick one of these up for under 50 bucks at your uh, big box stores here. Uh, the balancer just consists of a rod that the tire mounts through and it has some uh, low friction bearings on it so it just allows the tire to spin and just for us to get a very accurate balance. Next we're going to want to remove any old wheel weights from the tire because they're going to mess up our balance here. So this is, I get to use my plastic spatula. Okay great, all the old wheel weights are gone and we're just going to let the tire rotate and find its balance. What's going to happen here is the heaviest part of the rim, gravity is going to force it to the bottom and the lightest part of the rim is going to be at the top. So we're just going to let the, we're going to let the, the tire tell us where that point is. Now this could actually take a while if your bearings in really good condition or you have a nice balancer, it's going to go back and forth like a pendulum here. So it's actually okay to slow it down a little bit and we'll just speed it up, speed up the process. Okay, so now that the rim is settled, we have the, theoretically at least, the heaviest part of the rim at the bottom and the lightest part at the top. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a mark on the tire right at 12 o'clock. This is where we're gonna be putting our balance weights. This is the lightest part of the rim. And we can test that by taking the mark, going 90 degrees on the balancer and letting it go. And you're gonna see it's gonna swing up because it needs weight. That's where we're gonna be attaching our weights here. Right, we're to the point where we're going to want to be adding weights and I'm actually going to take my gloves off for this just for it's easier to work that way. Now these weights, they're sticky backed with permanent double stick tape, but we're not going to use that just yet because we don't know how many weights we're going to put on and putting them on and taking them off just ends up wasting weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little painter's tape and we're going to tempor temporarily set them up to the rim. We'll grab our lightest part of the rim here, and I'm gonna start with four weights. Why? Because I find that's a good starting spot. We're gonna center the weights on the mark on the tire here, the lightest spot, and then we're gonna use the tape to temporarily attach it to the rim. All right, and what's our test? We go to 90 degrees, and we're just gonna let it go and see what happens. So the wheel's slowly moving up. It means we're kind of close, but we need more weight on the rim. So we now know it's more than four weights. So let's go ahead and add another two. We're gonna to go to six. Again, I'm gonna use more tape, and I'm actually just gonna pile up the weights on top of each other in the same area here, just to make it quick and easy. So I'm putting two more weights for a total of six on the rim. And we're gonna put it to 90 degrees and we'll see what we got here. All right, so it's slowly moving down. And you'll see how I went from four weights to six weights because what that does, it lets me know the magic number is probably five at this point. More than four, less than six. So I'm gonna take off the two and we're gonna reduce it to one for a total of five weights on the wheel. Odd number I know, but it is what it is, science. All right, now we have a total of five weights on the wheel, put it at 90 degrees and see what we get. That, that, friends, is a perfectly balanced wheel and that's why I get paid the big bucks. It looks like we ended up with five weights being the total and you could use a strip of five weights uh, on one side of the rim or if you wanted to, you could split it up and go three weights and two weights on the other side of the rim, but that is a perfectly balanced tire. So the benefits of having a properly balanced tire are one, tread wear. Your tire's gonna last a lot longer if it's balanced. 
Secondly, your tire is going to spend more time in contact with the pavement and not bouncing around. Better handling, better braking, better acceleration. This is why you want to balance tires. And that's how it's done. Well, there you have it, everyone. Thanks, Jeff, for that. And now you're ready to hit the road with confidence. Remember, maintaining your motorcycle and getting in the habit of tackling some of these simple tasks every month ensures that your motorcycle is operating smoothly and efficiently. Motorcycles do require a little bit more attention than cars do, but the reward they give us back is unlike any other. So be sure to take care of your bike. Please be sure to double check and triple check anything you do to your motorcycle, all right? If you ever run into a situation where you're not super confident, please seek out professional advice or take your bike to a certified mechanic. If you'd like to see us tackle another topic here on Inside the Garage with IMS, please leave that in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow us on all of our digital channels, including Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and also on continuetheride.com. Until next time and our next episode, ride smart, ride safe, and we'll see you out there on the road.